I'm Maddie. I'm Kristen. And this is the We Share Needles podcast. Yay! Episode 30. Oh. I know. We've grown. 30. 30. That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. I feel like it's been a lot longer than that, honestly. I know. Don't you feel like we've been doing this for a really long time? Forever. It's only been a little bit over a year. Yeah. Max is back there. Everybody say hi, Max. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi. Max. <laughs> Max. If you pee right now, we're going to have a problem. Look at her. Oh! She's a mess. Okay. She won't go outside because it's been raining and it's wet. So it's a thunderstorm day. Refusing. It was supposed to be storming all day. And it's, it's going been to. push back and push back. Now it might storm this evening. It looks it looks like it's going to storm. And we had some rain, so. Yeah. We never know in Arkansas. It is a beautiful Sunday. It's hot as heck. It's like 75 degrees. Super humid. Craziness. Nasty. Yeah, my hair's very frizzy. It doesn't very, look frizzy. It looks great. Like that. It looks nice. Um, but I have had a migraine for two days straight, so we're going to make this quick. You have a movie to get to. Quick-ish. And I don't want to throw off on camera. I will be back. <laughs> that. So, let's go. Yeah. We are a knitting podcast. Mostly. <laughs> if you haven't watched us before, we, we do a lot of knitting, some mm -hmm. crochet, not very much, maybe some sewing and embroidery, but most of the time, it, this is just knitting. So, you're going to hear us talk about knitting and some books. And then mostly like our lives. So mm -hmm. we chit chat a lot. So if you don't like that, we're probably not the podcast for you. True. We're very chatty. And sometimes we say bad words. Sometimes we say bad words. We're going to try not to this time because last time was pretty heavy on the bad words. So yeah. we'll try. We'll and see. it's Sunday. We just got done with church. So yeah. we're feeling a little less cussy. That's true. We you, just had yeah. Jesus. Yeah, we just had Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry about my dog's tippy tappies. Yeah. They drive me insane. She's lying on her little blanket now, though, so. Okay. Should we start with some knitting FOs? Yeah, well, first, what are you wearing? Oh, I am wearing a, a knitted object. This is from the Yarn Crawl last year, the Arkansas Yarn Crawl. This is the Bright Access Tee by Stephanie Lotfin. Mm -hmm. It was in the uh, Knit Happy with Self-Striping Yarn book, and I love it. This is Woolens and Nosh Self-Striping Yarn. I don't remember the color. Oh, I do. It's Blair, where's my leg warmers? Yeah. Or Blair, you have my leg warmers or something like that. Something about Blair's leg warmers. <laughs> and then the bottom is just Malabrigo black. It looks so good. Yeah. It's just an oversized kind of boxy shirt and it's it's literally huge. I just. <laughs> it's so cute though. It's really comfy and I was just like, well, it's hanging right there. I just washed and blocked it again. Yeah. So. I did my, I did a big like, sweater wash the other day in the washing machine. It made me super nervous. I put each of them in like a big delicate oh, bag. Yeah. And did them like cold water on mm -hmm. delicate, but they came out amazing. Good. And I washed like four at a time. That's good. So it was super fast. It was great. That's crazy. I'm so nervous because like I in general am not a very graceful person. So like I already have lots, lots of snags in all of uh, my stuff. Yeah. I get snags before I wash and block it because I'm a mess. And so I feel like I don't know That's how people true. get around without snagging their knits, but I, uh, I need to learn some grace, I think. Or maybe I'll just wear like an outer protective layer, a plastic poncho over I my neck. that's what you should do. I like constantly bump into stuff and I always have like hangnails and I just, I'm just a mess. I can't you handle snag it. snag your nits a lot more than me. I never You're really always like, that. how'd you get a snag? And I'm like, I don't know. Like it's, you haven't even worn it yet. And you <laughs> snag. I just exist, okay? I have snags in my regular clothes. Like. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. I love it. So that's what I'm wearing. I love it, love it. Are I'm you wearing, wearing it? socks. <laughs> Show us the feet. These are also an FO. These are my journey socks. Yay! Um, yeah. These are a pattern by someone. It's right here. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, them. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Um, I've already worn them a couple times, so instead of washing them and having them ready for blockers, I just figured I'd wear them again as an FO. I might put Max outside on her lead because that's going to drive me insane. But I love them. I've worn them a lot. They're perfect in tennis shoes. And I have two pairs going in whips, too. What's the yarn? husband. This is Malia Made It in Killer Shark. It was last year's Sock Shark Week colorway. Yeah. Or Shark Week, Sock Week, whatever. <sighs> anyway, that's what I mean. <laughs> and an FO. So kick into mm -hmm. that segment. Then, do you have any FOs? I, I do. Have two pairs of socks. I do. Well, I have some socks, too. Well, I'll I have three more. One of them's a picture. Okay. Um, in addition to these socks, I did a pair, a full pair of socks with, uh, Malia made it, Here killer it shark, whatever. They're beautiful. Who'd you give yeah. them to? Um, a lady I go to church with. Mm -hmm. I had knit socks for her daughter and her husband, and then she, um, told me her shoe size, and just, it was just implied that she was also going to get a pair. It was well, cute. There you go. <laughs> so I knit those. Love it, love it. And then I finished two others. 
it's been like three weeks since we last podcast, I think, right? Something like that. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I went on a kind of camping trip to a cabin for like a week of that. So I did a lot of knitting. I did these DK socks. They're so cute. You want a blocker? They're kind of like, I don't like the heel. I tried a mock short row heel. You liked um, it when you knit it. I like knitting it. I don't like the way it looks on blockers. Uh, well, it looks fine right there. Um, and I don't know about how it wears. I haven't worn these a ton yet. Um, but that's what I did on the other, the ones you saw the picture of, the Kitty Shark cute. ones. Um, I might have to put her outside. She's gonna need some high heels. <laughs> she drives me crazy. Um, these are, will you hand me that little fish bowl? Yep. I am a good podcaster with a bowl of tags. <laughs> these are Mad Tosh in the colorway R-E-D. Um, it's DK, they're 100% merino. Um, I wish there was nylon in them, but what else was I gonna do with this game of DK? So I made socks. A muscleberg. I could have. I don't <laughs> I haven't been happy with any of the musclebergs I've made that aren't fingering weight. I like my worsted ones. It's pretty good. Mine's too big. Uh, okay. I have socks too, but just one pair. This is a Nitpicks Felici pair. This one was called Cupcake Karaoke. And it's just really cute. I did a little cut and heel. They are looking awful big on the blockers. Normally my, my socks will fit really, really well. Like socks for me and these are for me. Mm -hmm. um, they'll fit like perfectly on the blockers and I'll know that they're gonna fit my foot. So I think these are probably gonna be a little bit big. Um, my gauge is changing, especially on Felici. So I'm thinking of sizing up my needles and down my socks. So I'll go down to like a 56 on a size two. Yeah. Oh, Normally wow. I knit these on a 64 stitch sock on a size US one and they're just like loose and all my felici socks are a little bit loose it's a thicker yarn and um it just comes out a little a little wonky. different yeah yeah so um yeah, i like is. them though they're very cute it's a long sock i think i just picked to do nine stripes and nine stripes they're pretty even cute. and i did stagger the colorways obviously they don't match perfectly which yeah. i prefer in my felici socks but um so I did like nine stripes in the foot and nine in the leg so that they kind of fold up pretty perfectly. Those in are half. so satisfying. It's so good. I love yeah. it a lot. So those are my socks. I also finished a muscle bird. This is the Cozy Knitter um, leftovers from 2021. 2021, yep. Is and then right? I just yeah. had two different skeins of black leftovers. One of them I think was just like a pigment and fiber and the other one's probably a Malabrigo. And so you can't even tell the difference because well, they're just yeah. black. But um, I just used up two scraps that I had to finish the Musselberg. Nice. It looks good. Um, it's the second one I've done in the Cozy Knitter. And I'll put it on my head because somebody keeps commenting that they want to see it worn. I'm like, I feel like we've shown it worn and everyone's shown it worn. And also like multiple times, pages. you know? They just want to know what it looks like on your head. So here we go. Well, I'm not willing to sacrifice my hair most episodes. It looks, it looks like really this. Good. She's loosey goosey. That's how I like to wear it. Back on your head. A little bit loose. Come on, Max. <laughs> Max is in timeout. Outside. Um, and then you can also fold it up, <laughs> which I don't like to wear it like this. And I actually would not show the black in that, but it looks kind of stupid like this. I don't like it like tucked to my head. I feel like my, Face is too big for my head. Sorry. <laughs> She's anxious. That's cute. You could also wear it on the black side and have the brim be the color a little bit, yeah, which is cool. Fun. It's just like a little bit of fun. You got options. You got options. It's a very versatile hat. I've mm -hmm. seen so many people knit this. This muscle burr by It's Old T. Um, I've seen so many people knit it with like different skeins. So you have like two completely different yeah. hats. Um, but this is like my favorite way, like a striping and then a solid on the inside. I think that looks really cool. So that's the second FO. I have another finished object, which I'm going to count. Uh, it's not really finished, but it is because it's going to be finished today and I'm not going to show it again. So oh, yeah. here's one done. My, um, they're kind of the same thing as the Point Edward mitts by Fairlight Fibers, but I did a little bit different. I striped it and I sized up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So they're just like a cute little convertible mitt. You can wear it up or down. And I made them in the USA flag colors because of the Olympic cast on we did in February. And I like them, they're cute. This is the first one. I've woven all my ends and everything. Um, it was so a pain cool. in the butt because there were so many. Mm -hmm. And then this is the second one. All I have left is the thumb. 
I only have to do two rows and then like four rows of ripping and I'm done. So I'm counting it as finished. Absolutely. Mm, I like them, but you know, they're fine. Free, uh, it's a free pattern and I just made a little bit of changes to it and I actually would have not done it had I known the size was going to be this big because it's just a little loose. I would have just done it exactly to pattern, hmm. but this yarn is thin. It's the Loops and Threads by Michaels, I think. Yeah, I can't remember what their like store brand name is. I think it's called Loops and Threads and it's the wool-like, so it's actually mm -hmm. all acrylic. Um, and they're, they're comfy. I hope it doesn't bleed and I have like weird pink mitts, but mm. I like them. If so, you'll have weird pink mitts. Yep. Okay, but that's all my FOs. I'm I pretty sure. One more. One more pair of socks. These came out super, super big, so they're going to be gifted. They don't fit on any of my blockers without looking really stupid. Mm -hmm. um, but I have a person in mind to gift them to whenever I um, weave in the ends. Look how long that foot is. It wow. does look long. Were they for Buddy? No, they were supposed to. Well, they might fit Buddy. I might actually see if it, Buddy wants them. Because those look really big. That might just be a happy accident. Because Buddy <laughs> would like new socks, although he hates orange. These are the Moana colorway by Moose and You, E-W-E. And they're just vanilla socks with an afterthought heel. I did these during movies and stuff um, several weeks ago now. Finished them like right after we filmed the last episode. But they're done. They just need to be ends in and blocked. So I'll do, I've been blocking my socks in like batches after I finish like four or five. I just do a bucket of them. Um, do you like actually block them or do you squash and hang them? It depends on the sock. These I won't be blocking because they're Huge. too big. Yeah. But um, if there's any patterning in the sock, I'll block it just because I like it opened up like that. Yeah. If it's vanilla, I'll usually just hang it. So it kind of depends. But they're done. Buddy has another pair that I've made him from this dyer. Um, and he said they bled a little bit into his shoes, but that one had huh. black in it, I believe, or like dark brown. Um, so I don't know. We'll see how these wear. <laughs> I almost asked, was he on his period? <laughs> Probably not, <laughs> right? Oh, Lori taught us uh, so much. We know, we know so much about dying we know now. many things. Um, yeah, that's all I have for FOs. Just, no, I just went a little sock crazy. I feel like we did pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I'm almost finished with my shawl, my last shawl for the shawl all along. That's exciting. I'm nowhere near. Should we go into whips? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I feel like we're like going through it quick. We don't, last time I feel like we both had a lot of FOs and this time it's like, oh, I only had a couple, but you had tons last time. Like 50 billion. Um, so I don't know if this is going to even show at all because it is so bunched up, but this mm. is my Starflake by Stephen West. The last time I had just started these stripey bits here and now so I've finished pretty, yeah. all of the brioche these short row wedges and I'm into section six, I think. And there are seven sections. So now I'm into this like weird, like lacy bit. And I, my stitch counts were really off. Mm. Steven West is like so kind in his videos and stuff like that. He's just like, if your stitch counts off, just fudge it. It's fine. Yeah, make it work. So I did. And I'm hoping that I know I'm still like, I'm like way short. Like I almost mm. feel like I missed a couple rows of brioche. Yeah. Um, and it would have increased my stitches to the right yeah. amount. But look at my brioche. I love it. Okay, so, so that's fun. the right side. And the wrong side is the pink. Oopsies, I already got a snag. <laughs> <laughs> what were we just talking yeah. about? Yeah, my snags. But um, I'm really liking this. I'm really hoping to have it finished by the end of the shawl along, -along which is our knit along week. for shawls and ends next week. And we are going to do a live, live on YouTube. We're gonna try it because Buddy said he's gonna teach us how to set up Streamlabs or some yeah. weird thing. And so we're gonna try to do a live on YouTube next Saturday? Yes. Yes. Next Saturday. So I'm really close to being done. I really like it so far. I've got it on these, um, what are these called again? Um, Addy Scasel Squared. Yeah, they're square and textured. I actually really do enjoy knitting on them except for the join um, mm -hmm. from the needle to the cable is not my favorite. Um, but yeah. in general, like the actual needles, I love the sound they make. I love yes. how they feel in my hands. They're just very comfy. Mm -hmm. So, um, we had talked about, I wanted to use these so I could see if I wanted to get a set of the interchangeables, mm. but this is not an interchangeable. So I don't know how that joint is. And I'm guessing it's going to be worse. Oh, I wonder. That makes me want to order like one of the interchangeables to just see. Just to see, right? Yeah. yeah. To test. I wish a yarn store near us had them that we could like sample 
like knit a little bit on. A yarn store does. Not that we can knit on. Yeah. So <laughs> they don't. Okay. Well, that's that. That's uh, the colors are Malabrigo Fuchsia and Dreamin Color Smooshy in Dune. And yeah. I really can't wait to see it finished and I want to see it blocked because right now it feels tiny and Maddie's is huge. And so I want to see it. I think blocked out a lot. I don't, I don't yeah. remember. It's and it's a lot, lot of garter long. and brio. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll, like it opened up it'll a lot. open up quite a bit. But I'm on the last section. I just broke into my second skein. So I'm going to have a lot left. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a matching hat or something. Ooh, what if I did that, that hat that you did? The um, woven? Yeah. With fun. these two colors, do you yeah. think that would be okay? I think that'd be pretty. Because one of them is like, what do you call it? Jeez. Speckled, variegated. Can you guys hear Max? My dog makes me so mad. I'm She's sorry. just sad. She doesn't want to be out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you have any shawls you want to show? Uh, yeah, I haven't knit on in a ton, but I did knit a little bit on my front shawl. Um. I have not touched my beach wave that I should have started at the same time. Hold on, I'm tangled in the stitch marker. Oh, stupid dog. I got a dog. I think she's kind of cute. She's cute. She is Dang standing it. on this my FOs like, though. Bad. Why is everything so chaotic right now? We are chaotic. Okay, fixed it. This is my Frank shawl. My Hello, sister, Frank. I'm like, she's a cat. She is a cat. <laughs> she was doing that earlier. I posted it in my Instagram story. It was silly. <laughs> okay. I've barely done any, but I did some of the striping and I'm to the point of the next like lace bit here. Um, and this is just the first section of my Frank shawl. And this is using evergreen fibers and blush yarns. And I love the colors. Um, I'm also going to be using these two colors with that green throughout it. And I'm really excited. And I'm going on, I'm doing some traveling over the next couple of weeks, and I'm thinking I'll be able to focus on this some then, but we shall see. I'm not feeling super drawn to shawl knitting, um, so it hasn't really gotten much love. But I do like the yarn a lot and like the project with the yarn, so I think it'll be good. I just have a little needle stopper because I keep dropping all my stitches. But I really like the fabric I'm getting with this. I think it's really good. It's very pretty. Yeah. I like the colors together too. Me too. They're some of my favorites. Um, that's my only shawl though. I mean, my beach days, but I haven't touched it, so I didn't bring it out. Then I have socks and I have a sweater. Do you guys want to see my Montrealer? No. <laughs> what is? That'd be funny. Okay, so this is that Montrealer sweater I started a while back. I think I showed like halfway through yeah, the Yeah, it was like there. Like you just yeah. had a little chunk. So I was like there yesterday and then I did all that. Yay! Yay! It looks good. So I knit a ton on it Friday and Saturday. Um, I'm down under the body. I think I'm six rows from where I start um, like placing markers and thinking about the hoodie pocket. So that's coming up. And then that when I get to the hoodie pocket, I think that's halfway through the body. So super, super close. I like the fabric a good bit. This is Knit Picks um, Will of the Andes in Heather Gray, Coal, and Red. So... I think it's just called red. It's this is for my husband. I don't know if I said that. I've never knit him a sweater or anything before and he has asked. So I'm finally doing that. And now it's just vanilla and striping. So super easy until the very end when I have to add on a pocket and do a hood. So that'll be interesting, but I'm excited. And I have it in my um, Mrs. Brown's bag, bag that buddy got me for Valentine's Day a couple years ago. I love this bag. It's really, really good. So yeah, that's my sweater and kind of my, my vanilla knitting when I can look at what I'm knitting. Um, cause I do have to like count the rows with stripes. Mm. Then you want me to keep going? Sure. Cool. I don't know if I showed this last time. I haven't touched it much, but this is my stress knits cowl that I've been working on. Just using all of my stress knit scraps. All of my projects are falling off the needles. Um, so this bag is just full of all my stress knits. This is all I've got on it so far. That was from your 2021 advent? Um, there's 2021 advent, 2019 advent, and the other stress knits oh, from my so stash. All, all of, of your mm -hmm. scrap. And I'm just using them until they're used up. And I don't know if I'll get through all of it. I know some of these are larger. Like, this is essentially a full skein. So I'll probably, like, wind off 50 grams of it for a pair of shorties and then put the rest in here maybe. But... Just kind of going through some stash because I love stress knits. So 
that's making me happy. I'm, I'm more likely to bring this on my trip than the Frank shawl, honestly, because <laughs> um, it's just more mindless, less, less thinking in that. Then I'm all socks after that. Um, I've got, do you want to do anything before I do socks? I have one pair of this socks that I'm knitting. The, ooh, do you guys hear the thunder? Thunder. <laughs> if you're a parent, you, you know. Oh, look, mine, mine are all falling off the needles too. This is another pair of Knit Picks Felici and it is in the colorway Hot Shot. And I just dropped like seven stitches off the needles Love for that. fun. For um, this is another one that's on a US size one nine inch circular because that is how we roll. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't talked about how we are nine inch circular hose in a long time, but we are. A nine inch soak is the way to go. If you can knit, if I can knit something in the round, I'm doing it. If I can't, if it has to be done magic loop, it's very likely I will not knit that project. So, um, I just started these a couple days ago. Thanks they so are going to be for my ex. He wanted socks. <laughs> Love that. I know we're friends. It's fine. So he's getting socks. It's his birthday next weekend. So hopefully I'll just take a picture of these and I'll be on the next one. So this is sock one and sock two. So, you know, it's a cute striping sock. Maddie thinks these look hot pink. Do you guys think they look hot pink? They look absolutely pink to me. This is lighting. like, to me, a bright orange red, and this is like a light, a, a pinker red, but it's still like more like magenta, not magenta, maroony, not maroon, like wine. It's magenta to it looks me. looks wine magenta color. Magenta and neon Berry coral. colored. Berry and then red. Is, are these hot pink? I'm crazy. Okay. Berry's a good color. I agree with that. Um, yeah. It's like a berry and then like an orange red, but it's called Hot Shot. So I, I think it's kind of a masculine color. It's fine. I'm pretty I mean, sure Max would be really upset if I knit him pink socks. Oh, well then you should. I hope they're pink. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are just a nine inch circular. I'm going to cut in a heel. I'm doing nice. 64 stitches, even though it's for him because um, my... Sock gauge is so loose on Felici. Yeah. I'm not a, a loose knitter in general. My stitches are way tight, but um, Felici, for some reason, is just so loose. Yeah. Hmm. So. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have to worry about sizing up for anything. That's nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently knitting on this sock while we sit here. Look how good these look. Beautiful. I love that colorway. This is the Alpaca Yarn Company Paca Peds High Twist Hand Eye Fingering. 20% alpaca, 65% superwash, 15% nylon. Um, and I'm knitting these for my friend Val. Um, I'm doing it, doing an exchange with them and they're crocheting me a float tote in exchange for some socks. Which is what you had asked for yes. on Instagram. Yes, I did. Um, and I had two people respond, Val and then um, one other, Samantha. So Samantha, I'm sending her yarn for her to crochet the float tote and she's sending me yarn for socks. And Val and I were using our stash. So they had um, crochet or they had cotton in their stash that they're going to use. And then um, I sent lots of pictures of my stash. And they picked out this one, the alpaca. And then this Harbor Fibers yarn is also so pretty for Val. And I love it. They're going to be really, really good. I have stuff for Val too. So when you send that, yes. you can add the yarn slut sticker oh, yeah. and the stitch markers that we're making. Perfect. Yeah. So we both picked out some stitch marker stuff this weekend. So. so. That's exciting. Working on those. That's what I did on during church today. Then my other socks that are on the needles right now are those journey socks for my husband that I talked about. I had more socks on my needles last episode that I didn't show Zephos because I frogged them. So these are the only socks I have going right now. I was getting off screen. <laughs> like, no. um, I started these journey socks. Buddy wants a, a pair that's red and a pair that's black. So I started a black one and the red one. That's so I kind of almost have an FO, but they're a mixed matched pair. But anyway, finished one of the red ones yesterday. I love the construction of these. They're so interesting. And then this one I'm on the toe. So those just need their mates. I don't know. I'll try and hold on to them until the next podcast if they get done, but I'll take a picture either way. So those are my other whip. Um, I kind of got distracted from them for no reason at all, really. And then I have a muscle berg. I started a muscle berg for movie knitting this week. And I'm going to see Batman after this, and I think I'll finish this doing that. So we'll see. This, Kristen got me this yarn. I did. Oh, that's the La Bien Ami. Yes, it is La Bien Ami. I don't have the tag in here. I thought I was being so good. Anyway, it's, where is the tag? Ha ha. It was with the yarn. This is La Bien Ami in the colorway title Sands. And this is just an adult, so pretty. Oh, it's an adult medium muscle berg. Look at how the striping changed. 
I did, that's funny. This striping, my tension in the movie is different than my regular tension. I think that just happens because I have one, well, it's fine to not let the enemy. Mine was the Dreaming Color Smooshy and it did the same thing where at the tip, because it's like the increases and stuff, you're still getting like the yarn a little bit different and then, yeah. and then it evens out. But mine did that on my, um, my, my variegated muscle bird too. Gosh, they're not so pretty. Would you call this variegated? Yeah. What would, it would be variegated? I would call this variegated. Okay. 100%. I love it. It's pretty. Um, okay. have you ever knit a muscle bird with Lori's yarn? No. I don't think I have either. You have. <gasps> oh, I did. Yes, yes, yes. That I was the, it. I was mm -hmm. supposed to. That's yeah. what I picked up. Um, no, I've knit with Dream in Color and BG Breeze and Mad Tosh, Yarnable, Malabrigo. Malabrigo? The red one for Ben. Mm. I think I've knit eight muscle bags. I was counting the other day, eight or nine. This would be number 10, I'm pretty sure. Um, no, I've never done one with Lady Shine. What's up with that? I've only done it the once and I did it on her high twist. I feel like I like treasure her yarn a little bit. Like I hesitate to, <laughs> Me I don't too. know, it's just like, it's Lori's. I, I can't, yeah, I want it's hard stash. to get it up because then I'm like, well, then I won't have it anymore. Yeah, what if it's not good <laughs> enough to do with Lori's yarn? I don't know, that's unrealistic and silly. Um, look how cute this stick marker is. This was in the Arkansas Yarn Co. Sock Yarn Society mm -hmm. box. Um, Are you going to show that? Yeah, I have the other yarn. Uh, <laughs> this and another stitch marker, but this one's making me so happy. Cute it's little so macaroon. Cute. So yeah, I started this um, one day because my little brother had a orchestra performance and I knit to that marker at the performance and then, or no, I knit to this marker at the performance and then I knit to the movie. So we'll see where I get tonight. It'll be done. I hope so. I would love to just finish up the decreases and, but then I'll have to start another and it really needs to be that damn brown one. I haven't done, yeah, your coyote brown one. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done a Musselberg. Um, I haven't started a new one yet, but I have two things of yarn in there to start one. So yeah. I'm excited. They're my new movie knitting. It's so convenient because seven inches on a Musselberg is essentially the same amount of knitting as a pair of socks. Like that's a lot because the stitches are like a double. Well, maybe one sock. One full sock a little over but it's a lot of knitting so i'm excited by that and that's all my whips i'm moving my stitch marker up that's all your whips i believe so unless i'm forgetting something um i feel like i frogged a lot. lot i did not frog nothing i still have the one little children's sock i haven't touched in there but other than that i think that's all my my whips yeah i did find a whole bunch of granny squares that i was like what was i doing I think I was gonna make a baby blanket with them, and I I had like pink, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Interesting. And so I was like, okay, well I'll just knit like a rainbow of like different ones, and I'll just mix match them, and it'll be all cute, and I'll sew them together. Mm -hmm. But I stopped at yellow, so I have nice. all the yarn for the other ones, and I'm like, well I don't want to do that anymore. It was crocheting, so um, nice. and they were they were granny circles. Oh, and they were really cute. So they had like this little, little polka dot, and then white around it, and they have like. I think 20 of them, but it's just pink and yellow, and I don't know what I want to do with it now. I'm not going to make a blanket. <laughs> make a little baby blanket. It's too small for a baby blanket still, oh. even with if 20. If you do, like, join as you go, like, so you get an extra round around all of them and then do a border? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so, but. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, so you want to go into acquisition? I literally only have one skin of yarn in acquisition. Really? Yeah, I have What did you, didn't we go to Arkansas Yarn Co the other day? I didn't buy anything. You didn't? Not a single thing. Oh, I have some. Isn't that crazy? Um, I got the Arkansas Yarn Co Sock Yarn Society. This was the February box in the coloring Magically Delicious. Yeah, I should have my Yarnable, but it didn't show up. Mine did maybe either. earlier Monday. And then I have a bag coming from Georgianne which we also have a coupon code from her. We'll tell you in a second and it'll be below. Um, but yeah, this is her high twist base, Lori's high twist base. I like this color a it's lot. It's really pretty. It's really fun. It's making me think of my niece, Annabelle. Um, so maybe she'll get some socks or a Musselberg. Probably socks because it's high twist. But also it's Lori, so it might just sit Same. to be admired. Yeah. And that's all. I know. Um, yeah, that's all. I haven't purchased anything. I've just been... You have, on. it just hasn't come. Well, only those two things. Yeah. I have my Yarnables coming and two things from Wooly Mama. And I ordered the Vessel Stitch Co. March box. And yeah, I'm like, I got, I've got lots of stuff coming. And I went on a shopping kick. I was not supposed to buy yarn. 
Oh, I bought a bike. That's true. <laughs> That's my other acquisition. There's a picture of it. <laughs> I've been riding my bike all the time. I love it. So I also haven't knit very much because I've ridden like six miles a day. Just because it's so fun. Didn't know how much I loved bike riding. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? So I... Last time I think I said that I won the or I won oh, a yeah. prize with the uh, new to you Mal by the cocktail hour I can't say it cocktail cocktail okay. cocktail hour at the coop podcast they do they did hosted the whole thing but I got my prize from Frame and Fiber yeah I think that's the name I don't know I'll put it down below but I have the skeins these are from Black Cat Fibers. Which yeah. I've seen on Aquila and Johnny Bo, they had them. I was about them. to say, Johnny Bo's talked about her. Yeah, so I don't know them, but this is the colorway Ono Tokyo, and it's a DK. And I was just talking about how badly I wanted to knit DK socks. Oh, and, but perfect. these are all super washed, 100% super washed. So I don't know if I'll do that now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I also love a DK weight muscle burst, so yeah. I'm excited. And this one's called Briquette. I think they look really good together too, and I'm super excited. So this was a, a prize, yay! yay. Um, and then I ended up getting two yummy DKs from Lori when we went to knit night on Thursday. This is the colorway Iceberg Blue in her yummy DK base. I got two because um, Ryan, the yarn hack, had got me the same base in Bubblicious Pink. She got me two skeins of those, and I knit my mom a beret and some fingerless mitts, and I have about half a skein left from that. So I could, again, knit a beret and fingerless mitts, have half a skein so I can do stripey socks. Fun. I think that would be good. Yeah. I think, so I'll do stripey socks with this in pink, like this in the bubblegum pink, and then also have beret. I don't know if I'm going to do another pair of mitts, because I don't think I'd wear the mitts. But yeah. it's very pretty. It's just like a soft oh, blue. Good. Yeah. I and I don't, I don't think it counts towards Dash acquisitions because it's DK. And I literally have no DK. Like, the, these are the so only funny. four skeins of DK I have, so it doesn't count. I, I feel like now <laughs> you're just going to start compulsively buying DK because you're saying it doesn't count. It doesn't and you're count. you're going to have to expand on your home for a yeah. DK room. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, but then we went... Um, we worked together on Friday. We decided to work at Maddie's office together and we pretty. took a lunch break and got some shopping done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I purchased some embroidery floss. I don't really know if it's actually called floss. This is just like okay. cheap stuff. It was $5.99 for all these colors. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be high quality. I'm guessing not, but uh, <laughs> it's Artiste brand, six strand cotton floss. I don't know what I used before because I just bought a kit, but I liked all the colors. I thought they were all bright and pastel -y, and then there's just a little bit on the back. There's no black, so I don't have any black at all. Mm -hmm. And I have my other set of greens from the leftovers from my project before. But I didn't buy a pattern this time. I just bought this little silver hoop and some kind of beigey linen. It's 100% linen. It's 11 and a half by 18. So I think I could get two things out of this. I'm going to cut it in half and try doing two different things. I'm just going to freehand. I thought about doing something that kind of looks like tie dye or like, mm -hmm. like a spark kind of thing where it like kind of shoots out with like the different pastel colors. I think I'll try some stuff. I don't know. I'm just going to try stuff because I'm excited to try new things. Um, but yeah, so I got this little hoop. It's bigger than the other one. I think, um, I have a bamboo hoop at home but it's still got my project in it and I haven't washed it and I'm really afraid to. And I'm also like, I don't know how I want to display that. Like, do I want to get a frame and like put it on the wall like in a frame or do I want to leave it in the hoop? I kind of like it in the hoop. Are you sure? And I have to like fine. trim off the end edges and I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, I got this because I could hang this on my wall because uh, my room is all silver. So that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got two Chagu size fours from Lori. I don't know why I picked size four. I think I was thinking I would knit my DK socks on a size four. I know on you a do a four, three, but yeah. my knitting's tighter. That's true. So I think that that will make more sense for me. All right. And that's it for acquisitions. I'm brushing my hair a little bit. <laughs> Love that. So um, we did get the coupon code for Jordan for yes. the Stitching Plaza. And I'll put it down here at the bottom. Cool. And we'll also put it in the notes. 
because she's very sweet and she yeah. offered us a discount code. She just had a new stock or a new yeah, update. Yeah, she did a shop update with those. Mm -hmm. um, the ones I got were the Broadway bag that has like the different playbills all over it. Um, so I ordered it. I think it said it was like a Tuesday project bag. And then I was messaging with Georgianne. She sent me the coupon code and said that she had actually been inspired to find that fabric after I posted about my last Orpheum trip when I was knitting there. And she's like, ooh, that's a good idea. So it was fun that I like, inspired the bag and then got it. So I'm excited for that. Um, the, I go to the Orpheum in Memphis. Um, we, my family has season tickets. So my little brother always goes and then the rest of us kind of rotate around him um, depending on who's available and who wants to see that show. So I go a lot because the rest of my family tends not to be as into that as me and my dad and Nate. So I'm excited to have a bag like specifically for those trips. I think that'll be fun. Um, yeah, I haven't, I don't know. I've not had a very yarny couple of weeks. I've done like a little bit of knitting, but I traveled a little. I went and got snowed in up in Northwest Arkansas on the Buffalo River, uh, up in Jasper. I have some family up there. So I stayed at their guest house and then we got stuck in the snow and the ice, which was fun. Just hiked a lot. I knew a good bit then. I watched all the Harry Potter movies um, and I read a lot. It's been pretty leisurely. I mean, kind of, I've been biking and walking a lot, so I guess that's not leisurely, but it's not been scheduled. <laughs> I go back leisurely. to work. Like, I feel like that you've been doing. I've been relaxing, doing yeah. what I want to do when I want to do it. I go back to like work on regular hours tomorrow. I've been working like on and off in February, so my relaxation is coming to an end. Um, and you have to go do some training and stuff, but yeah. do we have anything else we want to talk about knitting wise before we dismiss the non? Uh, non-people people, people the non people who don't people. like us i don't think <laughs> we do um do you want to talk about any plans for future knits i have no plans honestly like i'm kind of just working through what i have but i don't have anything like other than the socks for Val, and then i've got on that socks of the other yarn that's coming from samantha and then i'm gonna get crochet float totes soon which is exciting. i think they're both knitting me five skin float totes crochet you yeah the same making <laughs> whatever um, i'm really excited about that That's i'm gonna though. knit a muscle berg out of these <gasps> that's gonna be a actual stripy muscle i was thinking of doing socks i just lost one i don't know purple mm -hmm. we'll get it can you hear that <laughs> chaos it's fine <laughs> so val actually sent me these a long time ago these are minis from mandy's makings i believe oh yeah i have them um, there too and so I started winding them up to do a stripey muscle burg. I don't know if I want to do it like helically, hel helically, or if I want to do it like kind of chunks. Ooh. I want to do like maybe two to four rows of each. I don't know because I feel like that's going to be a lot of ends. That would be, and helically would be no ends, but it would be like the regular stripey. I know. And I'm like, would that be weird micro striping these five together? And then like, I don't know what order I want to do it in. I'm kind of excited. I think it's going to be cute. I was going to do color block socks where I did like a cuff in this color and a cuff in this color. And then one leg in this color and one leg in this color. And then like a heel in this color and a heel in this color. Crazy. And just have it be like, you know, I thought that would be kind of cool, but I don't know if it would use all the yarn up right. So thinking yeah. about it, but I think it's going to be a muscle burg because I don't have one on my needles right now and I haven't planned on oh, that. Oh yeah. And then um, I do want to start, I just purchased the pattern book um, from Universal Yarns for my mom's Uchi sweater. And then I was looking at all the rest of the patterns in the book that it came in and decided I don't want to knit her an Uchi sweater. I want to knit her something else from that book. She really wants an Uchi sweater. She took a picture of it at a yarn shop and was like, I want that in that color. So I got like the yarn and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And I looked at the pattern and it's a bottom up open cardigan, which means back and forth. And it's got like 14 inches of lace. Oh my god! And then it's, ugh, I'm just not, I don't want to do it. So, but I might, cause mama gets what she wants. Yeah. So, hmm, I know. <laughs> I, we're also talking with um, the Arkansas Yarn Co. ladies, the Arkansas Yarn Cast ladies, oh, about yeah. all the boxy chevrons oh. for the Yarn Crawl. By Suzanne Summers. And Kristen and I are both kind of torn. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, one, FOMO, we want to knit them because we want to match everybody. And we want to take the picture like we yeah. did last year. But, and this one, because it's yeah. like a sweater. <laughs> but the boxy chevron just doesn't feel like either of our vibes at all. Uh -uh. Um, and it's a lot of yarn. And it's, it's a gonna ton be of yarn for like a, a really oversized. Yeah, I'm just like, 
not and sure. like chevron arms and i don't when you look at either of us do you see chevron i don't no so i just don't know about that one I'm not it's sure a, it's a pretty sweater and i can totally see Lori's vibe like yeah but it's just not mine the long the arm length and everything because it's three quarter length for the summer in july in arkansas when it's butthole degrees that's gross why did i say that <laughs> but it is it's disgusting um it's hot hot yeah july in in arkansas is not a good time to be wearing wool in the first place this was hot i think everyone took theirs off immediately except for me because i didn't bring another shirt mm, so <laughs> but this time I, if i knit that shirt i will be bringing another one so i would I don't only wear, wear it, it for the picture, <laughs> literally but um We'll put a picture of the actual pattern. Um, it's cute, It's but it's going to be... I haven't purchased it yet, so I don't really know yeah. much about it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm contemplating on that one. It's supposed to be like four skeins of the main color, and then one skein of an alternate, and then a little scrap of a third color. Mm -hmm. And that just seems like a lot of money for a shirt I don't think I'm going to wear again. Literally. And I have like... So I frogged my weekender light a while back. So I have that sweater's quantity that's like all balled up. But it's like, you I like have been, yarn. yeah, I love that yarn. And I've been talking about using it with a, a sweater quantity I had of like a darker tone of that, like a stripy cardigan. And I don't think I can give up that stripy cardigan for the boxy chevron. And I'm not purchasing a new sweater's quantity of yarn for this sweater. Like that's just not happening. So I just don't know what to do. If I did, it would be like nitpicks, maybe even Hobby Lobby. I could yeah. see myself knitting it acrylic and then donating it when we're done honestly hey i like that idea maybe i think mm -hmm. i'll probably get mine from knit picks i did pick up some colors that i like the colors that i want to knit with are not the colors i want to wear ever it's mm -hmm. just really hard like this this is bright and it's kind of crazy i'll wear this maybe you know yeah but like it's something that you can maybe wear once a season this is a very memorable shirt. <laughs> I wear that shirt a lot. Um, mine's in like a teal and a more neutral stripe. I wear it to work a lot. It's like a good weight for the office. It's like cozy because the office is always colder. Mm -hmm. um, I wear that and my rocket tee a fair amount. I don't see myself doing that with the boxy chevron. And maybe we will, but I don't know. It just doesn't look like me at all. And so I had yarn picked out for it. I have a shawl. For the Texture Time shawl, I bought five different skeins of Teeny Button yarn in her Dolly yeah. Parton collection. I have like five different ones. They look really For good your together. Dolly Parton Texture Time. Yeah, you can't and break that up. it looked so cute. And so then I saw Lori had two additional skeins of a, one of the colors I have, and I was like, well, I could just use one for my alternate, and then two of these, and then that one. And they're like, oh, you have to buy one more of those for your main color. And I was like. That drew the line. I was like, five skeins no. of yarn for a t-shirt, like no. a. <laughs> and we were looking at the sizing of that shirt, and it's like the twenty inches of positive ease or something. Size crazy. two would be like what I would want to knit for myself, but that's not accurate. You wouldn't. No, I'd be more like a size five. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so I was like, no, mm -hmm. I can't do it. And it's not on my <laughs> make nine. And I do I have other sweaters nine. on my make nine. So do I want to dedicate time to something not? It's a lot of vanilla. It is. It would be very easy for you to knit that and body. And Lori also said that it was like, you knit the sleeves and then... You knit them flat and then you pick up around. Pick up and knit. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I so know. So the chevron -y stuff is like textured and you have to purl? Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Yep. Anyway, that was a lot of like negativity. It's a pretty pattern. I just might not be my vibe. I don't know yet. Yeah. We're debating it. So, we are, absolutely. Hmm. But I have so many tops on my list, I just want to finish. I wanted to finish my shawl, because this is on my Make Nine, my Starflake, and then I want to finish the uh, Rocket Tee. I want, that'll be my next one that I cast on, because it's about to be that kind of weather here, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to make my Rocket Tee. Ooh, I have, so I have that, um, the yarn I bought for the Rocket Tee is that Suburban Citrus Slub that I got at McKinney Knittery last year, and I'm going back to Dallas, not this week, but next week. And I'm going to stop in. I think they still have the matching mohair. And I would just need one skein. Maybe two. I'd probably buy two just in case. Um, so To make another one with mohair instead? Yeah, to do like a mohair and slub. Because I thought you got just the three slubs. So you would just do it in all slubs. I've been thinking about that. But I can't decide. But then there was also that tee that Nicole Prof Pearl showed. Or shirt it where it was like part of it was fingering and mohair had double. And then there was like a section that was just the mohair. And I loved the texture of that. So that, that's what had me thinking about getting the mohair. But I could do just the slub. 
then it's just like a simple v-neck tee. There's no striping. I like it. Um, okay, other yarny goodness? No? I don't think so. This one was kind of like chaotic, but also short. Yeah, but we have books to talk about now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so if you're here for books, here we go. It's the book section. <laughs> There we are. If you're not, bye. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we love you. Kind of. Bye. We made a Goodreads group. We did. Yeah. Forgot about that already. <laughs> <laughs> I checked in a little bit. We had a lot of people like join, which is fun. Um, I was pulling up my Goodreads so I could look at what I'm reading because I forgot the titles. But um, let me pull it up real quick. So we'll link it below. But we just created a group called We Share Needles on Goodreads. We have 21 members. How fun. Wow. That's super exciting. Yay. That's like 10 more since yesterday. Yeah. So just a place, I started some random threads about like different genres of books. So just a place for us to chit chat, but it's also a really easy way to just like hop in the group and follow other like nitty readers, because yeah. obviously if they're in the We Share Needles group, then they're nitty and reading. So yeah. yeah, join our Goodreads group, follow us on Goodreads. Um, you can find us in the group. So that's where our links will be there. Yeah. What are you reading? Well, let's talk about what I finished. Oh yeah. So last time we talked, I was reading Addie LaRue. Mm -hmm. I have finished it. It ended well. So we don't have to worry about me hating the ending. It was good. I really recommend that book if you haven't read it. It's called The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And it is not a romance. It is a love story and kind of a life story. And I just really enjoyed it. It had a lot of like history and a lot of art and a lot of just I don't know. Mm. It was good. It was well written. I enjoyed it. I think it's by E.B. Schwab. Which I added it to my want to read. Yes. And I think I'm on hold for it at the library. So it was really good. I very much enjoyed it and I totally recommend it still, even now that I finished it. Mm. Um, I also finished the second book in the Knitting Vampire Club or the Vampire Knitting Club. Uh, I think that one was called Stitches and Witches. Um, we, were, <laughs> we were talking about um, reading and we were looking at our Goodreads and stuff like that and I was like oh my gosh that book's only 200 and something pages that's not a book that's a magazine and that is like Judgy McJudgerson and I was like yeah I, I judge myself that's not a book but that's they're really funny. fun it's like an easy simple read it's short it's like a mystery kind of I call it like a Nancy Drew style mystery yeah. where there's no stakes it's not like it's not, um, you don't really care about, like, you know how sometimes you're reading, like, a, a book about, like, murder or something, and you, like, yeah, really, and you, like, care, care about what's about, about to happen. Yeah, it's not like that at all. It's very yeah, much lighthearted silliness. People have told me that it's going to get romantic. I have, there's not been a romance scene at all, so I very much enjoyed it. Um, there's definitely some, like, flirtiness, I guess, but it's not at all nasty. So, loved that. I finished that one. I read... Um, what else did I finish? I finished Where the Crawdads Sing. That was a recommend from Professor Pearl and I think a couple others. And I thought it was okay. It was really well written. Um, it's just not the kind of genre I really care about. And it was, again, like some moral grayness. So mm -hmm. I, um, I don't know. It was really well written. I, I thought it was really real, well written and I um, enjoyed, I don't know, the voice of the narrator, yeah. I guess, but I didn't really care for the storyline that much. It actually just made me really anxious, like, the oh, whole time. Yeah. And it's I'm not, like, a thriller one. at all. No. My cousin, and I've had a couple other people recommend it, but one of my cousins that I saw recently um, said it's one of her favorites. So really? it's on my list. I'm going to read it, just just to, even to have insight to my cousin, like, what yeah. are your favorite books? Yeah. I um, think it's, like, a classic. I'm pretty sure I'm people pretty sure. read it in, like, middle school now or something. Yeah, I never did. I don't think I've ever read it. I don't know. Um, is that all you finished? No. Okay, keep going. Cool. <laughs> I was like, what else did I finish? I don't know. Um, I know I finished quite a few books, but since my phone's recording, I don't really know. I finished, uh, I guess, yeah, you could look at I'm my gonna stuff. I'm going to look at your Goodreads. I, there were, I read Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I just finished that one. I thought it was really good. Uh, again, the writing style was really, really good. Um, it was kind of thrillery kind of mystery-ish and it was like hopping back and forth in time. I like that kind of thing. I also like where there's different narrators. So in this one, it was like the mom, the daughter and the son. They all three had their own voice, jump back and forth in time, a little bit of crime, a little bit of intrigue. Um, so I liked it. Uh, it wasn't the best book ever. I thought that it was kind of slow in the beginning and then it just like wrapped it all up a little quickly for me, but pretty good. Those are in your red. Uh, let's see what else did I finish? Oh, The Hate You Give. Really good book. Um, 
it I it was anxiety inducing I know that that one's another one they read in school now but um I had never I didn't know anything about it um but it did just like make my heart like drop mm -hmm. several times so it's like a heavy book and I read a bunch of heavy books in a row so um <laughs> It was, I cried, it was really well written. I, I think it's a YA fiction, but it's like, it's heavy. Um, by Angie Thomas, really good, I liked it. Um, I read it pretty quickly, I think two days. Um, then I read The Girl on the Train, which is um, another kind of mystery book where they jump in time and have multiple narrators, I think. Uh, one of those people re wrote, Gone Girl, which is like one of the popular yeah. ones in that kind of style. And so this one, The Girl on the Train was by Paula Hawkins. And that. it's a movie with Emily Blunt. That's the, you don't know names of actors. I didn't know Emily Blunt. Okay, because she's, she's married, married to, to the guy from the office. <laughs> 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 but so it was good, but uh, not my favorite. And when a narrator is struggling, I guess, like this one, she struggles with alcoholism. It just was really hard to like, get there for me so mm. um I had to listen to it twice because I fell asleep in the middle and then I like was having dreams like I was like wait a minute I can't do that anymore because I've been falling asleep on some of my books so that's funny um but that's it so I read one two three four five six wow <laughs> you definitely beat me this time I've read, I think, 12 books now out of, um, my goal was 24, but I upped it to 60 because I didn't know I would be finishing books Yeah, that we didn't know we were intense readers. Yeah. Like we apparently are. <laughs> Absolutely. I think I just finished four. Let me scroll real quick. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah. I finished actually all Teresa Driscoll books and I'm reading new ones now, but, or maybe just three. I finished Teresa Driscoll's I Am Watching You, The Friend, and The Promise. And they're just like lighthearted mysteries. I told Kristen I really liked them. They had twists. They were kind of unexpected in all of them. Um, but I didn't even really realize it until like to the last, until I got to the last one. But there, it's not a series. They don't technically go in order, but she has characters that are continuous throughout it. So you just kind of pop in at different points of these people's lives. One of them is a private investigator. Um, and then he gets married and then that character kind of pops up in other ones. And it didn't even, I like read the first one where he had a wife and a kid and then it didn't even click that that was the same investigator that in the next one I read was single and then in the next one just her wife and like, and then I realized, <laughs> I told Kristen to read them in the order they were written. Okay. Because then. That, I would already. I yeah, would, you would notice yeah. the, it's not a series, the stories don't go together, but it's just neat to see the character development there. Um, so those are the three that I finished, and now I'm done with all the Teresa Driscoll books. All of them? Yeah. Finished all those. And then I started two books. Um, one is Still Life by... What is it? That's when your grandma recommended Yeah, my grandma just recommended it to me. I started it on the paper copy, but I've, like, barely read it at all. Um, I just need it on... Kindle, so I, I checked it out. I'm waiting for it by Louise Penny. So that's the Chief Inspector Armand Gamache mm -hmm. Gamache series. Uh, my grandma recommended it to me, so I'm gonna read through those. So I started Still Life, and then I came across an author on Instagram, um, Blair and Monty, and she writes a lot about like diversity and gender equality and things like that. Um, and so I checked out all three of her books, or I purchased all three, they weren't on Kindle. But the first one I'm reading is Read This to Get Smarter About Race, Class, Gender, Disability, and More by Blair and Monty. And I love how it's reading so far. Very informative, just super interesting. Um, I love the author's voice. She's funny, she's endearing, like it's very... Is it nonfiction? Yeah. Just like an intro. Okay. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's about yeah. race, class, gender, disability, and more. She's, um, she did like an intro video on Instagram. Um, just kind of introducing herself and she's an African-American Muslim bisexual woman. So her like perspective on things is just really interesting. Um, so sorry that she has two other books also that are purchased both of them. But I started with this one. What's it called? One is Making Our Way Home, The Great Migration and The Black American Dream. And the next one is Modern History, Stories of Women and Non-Binary People Rewriting History. Like um, so I like them a lot. I just, it's, I, I like that kind of read. So those are very interesting, but 
I haven't read as much. I was, I started the Gilmore Guys podcast on Apple Podcasts. It's these two guys that are watching through Gilmore Girls together. One of them loves it. One, it's his first time ever. Mm-hmm. And just doing commentary and it's cute. So I've been listening to that instead of an audio book. So. I just started Hank Green's, yeah. um, uh, I think it's an absolutely remarkable thing. Yeah. So good. I started out so good. I liked John Green's books for a long time. I, I had bought Turtles all the way down, like right after my husband passed and I, I never was able to mm-hmm. pick it up and read it. So I still have it and I will read it, but I, um, I started an absolutely remarkable thing yesterday when I had my migraine and I will have to go back and listen to a little bit because I was in and out of consciousness, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's really good. I like the voice he wrote as a woman, uh, which, okay, Hank. yeah, okay, Hank. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I love Hank Green. I met Thank him you. a long time ago so at cool. a cafe and I have a picture. Maybe I'll put it right there. Um, of young Kristen, Aww. probably 15, Kristen. maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> um, it. yeah, so that's exciting. Um, but it's a really good book. I've, I've enjoyed it so far. Um, a little bit sci-fi, a little bit, I, I like his Ooh, voice too. That's good. I don't think I've read anything of Hank's. He only has two. Oh, okay. And it's a series. You read one yeah. than the other. I have my John Green books over there. I think yeah. I have the box set of all of his. Love his. Some of his. Um, he has lots. Oh yeah. It was all of them at the point that I bought the box set. It's not anymore. <laughs> I have more of his in the closet. Yeah. But, um, cool. I was, we were talking about it. Uh, we were looking at our good reads and we started the page and stuff and I was like, um, I don't think I've read anything by a man this year. And that's when I decided to download John Green's book because I was like, I kind of branch out or Hank Green. Um, Either of them, yeah. Yeah, because I literally have not, I can't, I can't I usually deal with it. Yeah, so. I listened to that one John Gershom book and everything else I've read has been written by women. women. So I yeah. should probably. I just thought, I was like, I want to hear another voice. I want to hear something else because yeah. I'm going for the same like British white ladies that write about mysteries. That's basically all I've read. Yeah. And then, um, so I, I branched out and I'm like, okay, this is fine. I can read books by men and it's fine. <laughs> I can do it. It's fine. My therapist actually recommended that I read Will when I was talking to her, um, a couple weeks oh, ago. Yeah. She was like, I just finished Will. It's so good. You would love it. Like, please like download it. And I was like, okay. Huh. And my therapist said that she's like, I hope you're not one of those people who like doesn't think audiobooks are books. And I was like, oh no, like I I (laughs) I got off that high horse a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I can't. Now I listen to audiobooks. Um, I do have to listen to them in like two times speed. But same, I do that too. (laughs) Absolutely. But not Hank Green. You know he's a fast talker in general. He's not narrating it. He has someone else narrating it. But she's a fast talker, so I I listen to it. Narrating it. That would be fun. It's a woman, (laughs) so you know he got a woman to narrate it. Yeah. That's funny. Mm-hmm. I like that. I'm going to check out, check out Will. That's cool. Yeah. Although now I'm trying to power through my Goodreads. Because um, I just put everything that was in the note on my phone into Goodreads, which is super convenient. Like, why did I not hop on that train sooner? Yeah. So if you're not in Goodreads, um, our link below, sign up. Uh, it's free. Then you can recommend us books, and we can all follow the same books. I was thinking we could have a book club one time. I love that idea. We were half talking about that the other day, of, like, picking a book um, to read together. Because there's challenges in yeah. Goodreads, and we could, like, you know, do one of those. It would be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Have a discussion about that. Um, I know a lot A lot of you guys are readers, so that's good. Yeah. I feel like knitting and reading, kind of. Yeah. That personality type, knitters and readers, mm-hmm. go together a little bit. My therapist had talked to me last time... Um, a couple times ago and said that knitting is known to help with people who have PTSD like me. Um, she said that it is a neuropathing technique that you're basically your brain works in sections, right? And so like okay. you're transferring from one side to the other side and there's something to do with your hands doing the different motions. And she said, so if you're listening to like a self-help book when you're knitting, it is, it is neuro neuropathing. Rewriting your neuro- yeah, neuropath, your neuropath, something like that, to to make those things go in. So she's like, if you would just listen to, um, I have like a whole bunch of different uh, meditations and stuff that I'm supposed to listen to that I never do. And she's like, if you could just listen to one of those while you're knitting, it'll help it go in like way faster and you won't huh. have to listen to it as much. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's interesting. So I'm going to try that now. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. I like that idea. That's super neat. Yeah. Um, I've also, I just started watching Inventing Anna onto like TV unrelated kind of related mm-hmm. and just content we're consuming. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. I think I'm like halfway through the series. 
So I couldn't get over that lady's voice. It drives me nuts. That's so funny. And then um, I'm watching Supernatural with my husband. I'm still just in the thick of that. I think I had watched up to season 10 before and stopped. So we're on season 11 now. We just finished 10 and now things are new to me. So I have five more seasons. Well, <laughs> actually, there's 15 seasons of this show. It's crazy. Um, so I'm watching that, which is pretty much consuming all of my time. But my husband's a drill this weekend. So I picked up another show since he's not here. Um, and then I'm going to go see Batman today. I'm always consuming movies. I love movies. And I saw Death on the Nile yesterday. How'd you like it? Highly recommend. It was really, really good. It was like a little bit cheesy. It's like a murder mystery. Who's in it? <laughs> name a name. I don't know. Is it The Rock? No, that's the other one. Okay. Um, that's a different Nile. No. Anyway, this one's based on a book. It's like a murder mystery book. I want to read the book also. But it was really good. It was really unexpected. They're like all on this yacht. People die. I did not expect who did it to be who did it. Highly recommend checking it out. It was really good. Um, so, I think we should petition to make Maddie learn names of people. She I refuses. Think that will just not happen. She refuses. And I'm like, come on. I'll learn all the knitting. But I will not learn names of people. I have so much knowledge in my brain. Um, there is like a separate part of my brain that knows actors' names. None of it. I know a few. <laughs> My brain is full of insurance terminology and knitting <laughs> terms, so wouldn't be a fun place, probably, for a lot of people. Um, if you want to know who's in something, just look it up. Why do I have to know that information? Because you don't even look it up. You don't even know. I, don't I, like, to, I like to cross-reference, so I know, like, oh, that person does this and this and this. I don't know why. It's interesting I don't care about that information. Probably the autism. <laughs> um, um, that person is the character they played. Yeah. Unless they play like someone in Gilmore Girls or Harry Potter or Supernatural, in which case they are forever. You don't know any of the Harry Potter names. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe and Daniel Radcliffe. That's it. <laughs> no, I knew the other two main ones, but now I forgot them. I don't know. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Whatever. It, it matters to me. I just like to know. I'm like, who's in it? And she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, but you just saw it. Like, yeah. I don't know their name. Why would I know that? <laughs> I, can t I can give you a general synopsis. Like, well, was also... it The Rock? Because that's important. No, I like it's not. I, I support The Rock. I can tell you it's not him. <laughs> but I just, I don't care and will never care yeah. about actor names. I always care. I love actors' names. Um, <laughs> I ha I finished Euphoria. It was really good. Oh, that was a um, I bawled hysterically at the last episode. No oh, spoilers, gosh. but it was that so was good. So it does. Good job. That's important. <laughs> Zendaya is important. Zendaya is like timeless and classic and she's beautiful incredible. and amazing. And I cannot believe she's like a Disney star. And she's star. dating Tom Holland. Yeah, you love. I know that name. There you go. <laughs> That's important too. Good job. Um, but yeah, she's amazing. She's so amazing. Zendaya is amazing. That is, mm -hmm. she, she's so young. She's, she's just incredible. a baby. I mean, that's just crazy. She's, she's, gonna, she's just like a timeless beauty. She needs, she needs to have an Oscar. I love her. For Euphoria. I know they don't do that for TV shows, but, but I should. She's amazing. Her. Um, that show was really good. It was a lot. It was a lot. That was very intense. Um, I started watching How I Met Your Father. I haven't watched so bad. Too. I love it though. I love bad TV and that it's like the good kind of bad. I love Hilary Duff. Leighton Meester is in it now. She's like, I don't I knew know. Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff. Knew that very name. important. None of the other actors really matter except for now Leighton Meester. Um, <laughs> she's the Blair from Gossip Girl who you don't watch Gossip Girl. She hasn't watched anything. I was like, have you seen My I've Girl? Seen movies. And she's like, what? And I'm like, My Girl. Cause Anna. You know what I Chucky. watched growing up? Powerpuff Girls on repeat. Wow, that's, that's it. That's good too. <laughs> um, but I know we're, we're decades apart and <laughs> just one decade. And, um, all the movies that are from my childhood that I'm just like, how, how could you not see that? And I'm like, oh yeah, you were not born. I was. <laughs> so, um, not but I mean, it's a classic. Who has not seen My Girl? It's mm -hmm. so good. I was like, Thomas J. And she's like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. I see current movies. All of them. Yeah. I know. Now, now I see them all. And she still doesn't know their names though. So. Why would I? I, I know the name of the movie. Um, I am I know. I just like, I like people. Like that. I don't know. Um, Cause you hate people. I do hate people. <laughs> you know what's so funny is May May was at my house and my mom's like, gosh, I don't know about people. And May May goes, people suck. <laughs> <laughs> She's three. Raising them right. I was like, yes. And I was not feeling good yesterday and my niece and nephew were there and normally they'll spend the night, but I was sick. Yeah. And so um, May May came into my room and she was like, hey, what are you doing? And I was in my bed and it was like 2.30 and she's just like, are you okay? And I said, Mimi, I have a headache. I don't feel good, baby. So she came back in with a teacup 
full of water and she said here's some tea now drink your tea and feel better and i was just like you're just the best that's really She's three. Sweet. That's really <laughs> It was just water. So it wasn't hot tea or anything. It was just water. But so sweet. So cute. Aww, but yeah. Baby. She's the one who's the most noteworthy child on earth. Yeah. So. Um, wow. Uh, what else? We did our books. Um, follow us on Goodreads. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. We like that. I feel like this was really short. But Maddie has a place to be. She's going to back yeah. for a little bit. And we can keep rambling. We can keep rambling about nothing. Um, what, about what are you guys life? working on? Okay. Are you guys finishing your shawls? Your shawl lol -la -la Yes, I've seen quite a few. I mean, we've been in the in the um the thread, and there's so many. Some people who've finished two. I will be one of those people. I promise. I won't be. Maddie has finished none. Look at her. <laughs> She's finished enough socks to have like multiple shawls, but yeah, but socks are better. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you're going to Dallas, but we're going to film before that. We're we filming one before that. Oh, we were, we were doing the live and then after you. And then I'll be when I get back. So um, I'll have yarn to show yes. you. I'm not going to have like any shopping time, um, but we're going down um, Sunday. So a week from today, we're going to leave after church and drive to Dallas. Um, we're staying with my aunt in Arlington, but then like Monday through Friday, we're at training 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then... Um, It'll just be like dinner and sleep and more work. It's just started to rain like really hard. But I think I've convinced my dad to stay Saturday, Sunday after and do some shopping. Um, <laughs> so that's exciting. My dad um, went to SMU in Dallas. He went to seminary up there. And my mom's from Texas. My mom's not coming with us. But um, so I've, I think I've convinced my dad to do like coffee and his favorite restaurants and shopping in Dallas. Which I is want to go to Dallas. I'm excited. Gonna it's going to be good. Um, my brother's having surgery the week that we're gone, which is a bummer. Um, I wish I could be here, but prayers, just that. I know y'all don't know any of the details, and I don't really need them. They're not my details to share. But just prayers for my brother and his wife. Yeah. Yeah, because life's hard. <laughs> it is. Um, my sister-in-law is staying at my house. Yeah. She is my husband's youngest sister, and they were very far apart, so she's only 19. Actually, she's 20 today. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Happy sister. Happy birthday. Last night, again, I had a migraine all day yesterday yeah. up until this morning, but last night she started yelling at me at 4 a.m. Oh, God. Um, she texted me. She called me, and I was like, I woke up to the call, and I, like, looked at it, and I looked at the time, and I was like, what the fuck? So I just, oops, sorry. I <laughs> turned it off, and I was like, Meh. and I could hear her down the hall screaming at me, and I was like, What? And she's like, Christian! And I was like, what? And she's like, are you asleep? And I was like, yeah. It's freaking duh. It's 4 a.m. I yelled at her. I was like, yeah, it's 4 a.m. And she's like, oh, sorry, never mind. But she was screaming at me. And then In so, the house while yeah. people are sleeping. Uh -huh. And so uh, my parents told me this morning that uh, when she woke up, she was going to visit her mom. Um, she woke up and was like, I'm so sorry. I woke Kristen up in the middle of the night and she yelled at me because there was a spider in my room. And I was like, that." You dumb hoe. <laughs> because I am the last person no, what would you wake up for that? a bug. Like, she doesn't know me like that. Like, we just, you know, we're so far apart in age that we just never yeah, bonded. Yeah, got close. Like but, that. um, yeah. I was like, that. I'm the last person on earth that you call for a bug. You don't call me. <laughs> like, at 4 a.m. What is wrong with you? Funny. So I have to apologize to her. But I did. I was rude. I had such a horrible headache. And it did not go away all night. It oh, went away during Sunday school this morning. Gosh. I had like a crick in my neck. Maybe like a sympathy headache for mm. like two days. And it was horribly painful. Yeah. And last night. Sitting here saying and, like, that. And if I turned, I was like, God, I'm going to die. Yeah. Like my neck's broken. <laughs> um, but last night I took Tylenol PM and slept with like a heat bag on my neck. And woke up with it feeling better. So that's exciting. I said by a whole bunch of stuff sinus medication because that's what it is my migraine started because of the yeah. weather and so it's like all here so i took sinus medication for nighttime and put an ice pack on mine and mm -hmm. i still had a headache all night gosh that's the worst and it's coming back so i have to take some more medicine so yeah man you need the like, allergy medicine and stuff too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. goodness it's raining. It it is. Raining. it's raining oh man mm. Got to bundle up. I'm going to get a cozy sweater and my rain boots in. It's not even cold. It's hot outside. It's going to be cold in the movie theater. That's true. And Batman's a three-hour movie. I'm going to get so much knitting done. Ugh. I'm kind of, I'm anxious because we start with a new company tomorrow. 
Um, my dad and I are insurance agents. We own an insurance agency. We're transitioning to an independent agency from the captive that we were with. And I'm very excited. Um, but we're starting training tomorrow. We have the week of virtual training. Then I go to Dallas. And then I have 12 weeks of like weekly meetings, which is a lot. But it's going to be really good. And I'm really excited. But also incredibly nervous. So. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. It'll be great. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. We found out Chevy Roll does. Yeah, that Chevy was so Roll crazy. Mentioned her continued ed on her last podcast, and I was like, "Girl, <laughs> same." Like, I'm so sick of my continued education hours. And it's this forever. Year. They're annoying. You'll have it forever. <laughs> well, I won't do this provider ever again because I don't like the way it's done. My dad just finished his with a different one. Um, I did. If you know anything about this, I'm doing Web CE, which everybody says is the best, but I hate it. And my dad did better CE, and it was better. So <laughs> I'll be doing that from now on. <laughs> Although I think our new aggregator provides continued ed, so I won't even have to purchase that, which will be nice, that it'll be free. Um, and it's only every two years, so I don't have to do it next year. I'm off the hook. But ew, I don't like it. Ugh. Keeps you up to date on your laws and I, your rules. I'm already up to date. <laughs> um, what else has been going on? I convinced my brother, Nick, and my sister-in-law, Yo-Yo, to get bikes. So we've been bike riding a lot. Um, because I like got hyper fixated on bikes this week. Literally Wednesday, I woke up and I was like, I'm buying a bike today. I don't, I don't know. And then I texted Nick and I was like, help me find a bike. So we looked all over. I wanted like a deal. So I got one on Facebook marketplace. I ended up getting two and giving one to my sister-in-law, Yo-Yo, because she liked it. Um, cause I got a good deal on the two. So she bought one and then Nick bought himself a bike. So we've been riding those all over the place, trying to talk to more of my brothers and getting bikes just cause I'm obsessed. It's so fun. Um, that's been great. And my sister-in-law lives like a little less than two miles from me. So we've been like, and Chick-fil-A is right in the middle. So we've been biking to Chick-fil-A, Chick having lunch and then going I for a bike it. ride. So cute. Um, which of course will change now that I have to work an actual job. And that like gets you right to Tucker Creek Trail. Yeah. Well, I take Tucker Creek Trail to Chick-fil-A because it's right on there. Um, and we'll just go further that way towards the Walmart. But if you want to murder Maddie, Tucker Creek Trail. I go at a different time every day. Also, I'm packing. Try and murder me. Let's go. I start worrying about that more and more. Like, the, the I think we're almost at 2,500. Yeah. I'm like, we talk about our locations a lot. Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought about that the other day when I said I lived by the school buses. I was like, oh, people could just Google where that is. That and be like, oh, there's Maddie. But also, like, okay, my husband's in the army. We have guns. We have <laughs> Not that, like, I, I just don't think that's a problem. I, I don't know. I know it is a problem, and I wouldn't give out, like, my specific address. You do. But I don't. To people who ask. I give the office Oh, that's true. Yeah, I use my office as a PO box. Should we different. put that in our description? We can. We will. Yeah. Um, anyway. Anyway, I think about that, too. But also, like, um, my husband was just getting on me the other day. He's like... Well, not getting on me. He was questioning me about like my bikes and walks and stuff. He says, you don't take like the same route every day, do you? I was like, absolutely not. Like I know step one. I didn't try to get murdered. Yeah. I take a different route every day. <laughs> like, it is never the same. Uh, it's always at a different time of day and it's always a different way around. So yeah. no, I'm good. I'm careful. But also like, if you're in Conway, whatever, you'll know where I live. Come hang out with me. I don't care. People are going to show up at your house. Do it. If you show up at my house. <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> Goodness. Um, what else is going on in our lives? Um, not a lot. All I can think about is migraine. Yeah. I'm sorry. There is a... Is that a deer skull? Yeah, it's my neighbor. Nice. He hung them up after he hunted them. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture and put it in the podcast. There's two of them. It's terrifying. I was like, what the heck is that? Even... Oh my god, this morning I woke... <laughs> I was laying in bed. And I live in a duplex, so there I have neighbors that like share a wall on that side with me. And I woke up hearing them sing happy birthday to their dog at 7 a.m. Oh my god. So and cute. I meant silence. Yeah, it's a <laughs> They were like oh, singing That's happy birthday so to Silas. Cute. And I wanted to stop at a pet store and get him a good treat or something to give him. So cute. He um me I keep Max on the lead out there when she goes out and I keep Silas on the lead on his side. We like share the backyard area. 
Um, and then the dog next door is Teddy. They're adorable. They're cute. And there's another little tiny one. It doesn't go out alone. Mm. And a pit bull too down that's beautiful. But anyway, it's Silas's birthday and it made me so happy. I like, woke up and was just so happy. I was like, good for Silas. <laughs> my sister-in-law's birthday and my brother-in-law's birthday. Aww. My sister's husband and the other one's my husband's uh, sister. Okay, I was about to say, wait, <laughs> not yeah, no, family, right? My sister's husband and my husband's sister. I love it. They're both uh, born today. But like, wow. I think she's 20 and he's 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I don't have any birthdays in my family until June. Nice. I know. I've got time to knit those socks. But then I have like, no, I have birthdays in May. I lied. I forgot that May comes first. I have three family birthdays in May. And then a June and a July and a September. Yeah, I'm in July. Okay. And, well, I know you're in July. And then Jan is in October. And then, and then more November. In October. Yeah. They have the same birthday. They do. <laughs> so many birthdays. Yeah. That was rambly. Why did you just need that I don't information? Know. I'm um, finishing my heel. I started this when we sat down. Look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. Anything else? I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's be done. <laughs> As a pee. <laughs> I've had to pee for like 20 minutes. So I'm like, okay, oh, no. that's fine. Um, if you guys have... Oh, I forgot. No, one last thing. We heard you about merch. <laughs> We heard you all about the merch. Uh, yeah. We think it's kind of funny. Uh, eventually, we'll get to that. I think, and after you get done with training and stuff like that, we'll have a little bit more time, and then we'll think about starting a spreadsheet shop. Yeah, because um, so that's probably April. the easiest. April. Yeah. Um, I thought some of the merch suggestions were hilarious, mm -hmm. and also it would be really weird to just have yay on a T-shirt. I don't think anyone would know. <laughs> I love that somebody commented and they're like, I'm going to be honest. I would never wear a bag that it said out. whip it out. And no, I, was good. Said I wouldn't wear a shirt that said whip it out, but put it on a bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I get it. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I would. <laughs> so silly. Uh, but yeah. Ooh. Cute. I was just looking at your bouquet of yarn. Isn't that cute? Bunny got me that for Valentine's Day a long time ago. So I just cute. display it. I yeah. love it. That was really sweet. I can't remember the maker, but she does them every year for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day. Super cute. Super sweet. Super duper cute. Anywho, I think that's all we've got. Happy 30th episode to us. <laughs> um, is that all? Mm-hmm. Bye. 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 Is that a rush? Gotta be crazy. We do fast. Oh, I have to now. No, it's like two hours. I just cut 30 minutes out. <laughs> We're gonna have 45 tops. Okay, tops. We good? We're good. There's a glare going on, but that's okay. It is what it is. Yeah, this we're gonna have to turn off that light. That probably, light. probably should, because I think that's what's going I mean, I have astigmatism, so I'm seeing a, a line, it's you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if everyone sees that, though. Better? It's gone, yeah. Cool. That'll do it. That'll do. Okay. Are we ready to go? We're ready. Okay.